Hi. So I'm going to be laying off my image, or my opinion, opinion, not fact, opinion, of my view on society today. First, I'm going to start off a little bit about my past. So I, you know, I used to be able to save up $200 cash all the time, no problem, when I was a little girl. The only thing I ever had to worry about was my sister stealing it. Now, that was when I was like 8, 9, 10 years old. Nowadays, I can't save up like 5 to 6 dollars. You know, I go to my safe spot where I used to have all my cash, I look in it, and it's like dust and pennies. And I'm all over here like, shit. How am I supposed to save like 10 grand at the least for college tuition if I'm too stupid to pass school? They don't teach you crap you use in school unless you become a teacher. Do you really think that the Pythagorean theorem is going to be useful to a cashier? Or do you think when they have calculators on their registers to do it for them? Or do you think that would be useful for a math teacher? Do you really think that the history of Abraham Lincoln is going to help homeless people when they should be trying to get up on their feet? Or do you think that would help a history teacher? They should be teaching us stuff like morals. Seriously, we are so focused on passing whatever grades they can, and they are so focused on dropping whatever they can in our faces um, that we don't need to know. Maybe it will come in handy someday, but we can't spend the lives we have now preparing for maybe and someday. We need to spend whatever we have now preparing for certain and now, because did you know that every single economics class I ever had, I passed with an A. But the entire economics course I have ever taken in my entire life, none of it has ever, ever taught me how to, ch how to balance a checkbook. Nobody has ever even asked me if I know how. The answer is no, because nobody has even bothered to teach me. I am 16 years old. I'll be graduating school in six and a half months when I turn 17. I am a junior in high school. And I don't know how to balance a checkbook. The only morals I even know or ever got were, were for survival techniques I learned going through hell to find out. I have passed every single health class I have ever taken except for one, and that one I made up and passed the following quarter. But through every single health class I ever took, even the mental health class, they never taught me how to tell them if I was being abused. They never taught me how to help somebody else if they were. You know, and it just, it pisses me off because I swear, society makes me feel like I'm being stuck under a dome, that I'm only supposed to do what they feel is right or necessary, when the truth is they have no clue what either of those words mean. They are just trying to make us look good because as a world, we are failing. But we are not failing alone, we are failing together. Schools are failing because school boards fail from lack of responsibility and leash given to them by the government, which makes, excuse me, um, you know, so that which makes parents fail because schools are failing because they refuse to teach a student. My geometry teacher has given up on her class because she is forced to stay for the entire day or else she will get fired even though she is only paid for three and a half of her classes a day. She is only That means she is only paid half a day when there are seven classes in the day. She is only paid for 3.5 of those classes. So she fails from being overworked. And I'm reading from a post that I made on Poet on Facebook, which I will get to that point here in a little bit. It just helps me focus so I don't lose my spot so much. And that's why I look like I'm not looking at the camera. But, you know, so that makes students. And so after everything that she goes through, that of course makes students fail because when we can't pass in public school, when we suffer in public school, we often make a switch to homeschool, which results in no social skills hardly outside the family and, well, Facebook. 
which again makes the schools fail because we are trying to train these kids into thinking that school is not a place for socializing. It is a place for learning, which is true, yes, but in all reality, school is built to socialize. You can't cram a few hundred kids in a tiny little building and expect them not to talk. But when you force them not to talk, the harder you crack down, the more they will act out. You know, it's it's one by one, dominoes falling. Something happens, something else will happen, and it triggers a chain reaction, which of course results in kids getting girls pregnant, or getting DUIs at the age of 16, or showing up to school high as hell, because again, society is failing because we have no morals. They have a set organization to every little detail that as soon as you don't fit into their little squads, cliches, cliques, anything that they have and you don't fit in, they don't try and help. They try and conform you, and when you don't fit, they and when you don't fit, they call conformity. They call that helping. They call conformity help, but then they dismiss you like you're nothing when it doesn't work. If you think about everything I just said, that is all the world is trying to come is com to to come to. We're summing the world up into a level of conformity. They could care less about you as long as you have your little puzzle piece that fits into theirs. They don't care about helping you. You know, I spend three to four hours on math homework alone because I'm stupid and I don't know how to do algebra. You know, my dad used to fight with me four to five hours a freaking day just by doing homeschooling to get me to pass algebra. And at the end, he got pissed off, did all my work for me, so I passed algebra with a B. You know, I spend an extra hour on history homework alone, and I still can't tell you, I cannot tell you who was the first person to ever give a speech on slavery even though I learned about it three weeks ago studied endlessly to fail a test about it a week ago I, I, I don't know I know how the slave trade started in the first place partially I don't know what speeches were given because I do not remember because society will not change their ways to help me learn I can't spell words without spell check on my computer because all English does is teach you to fancy big words to replace the crappy little ones, like chiscodecophobia, which is the fear of the number 13. You know, they don't teach you how to spell that. They teach you what it means. They teach you if it's a noun, verb, adverb, pronoun, adjective, singular, conjunction, plural, plural. You know, they, but they don't, they don't teach you how to spell it. They don't teach you real things you need to learn in English. Out of my entire life of having English, I have only had one class to ever teach me the proper way to write paper, the proper format it should be written, the proper this, the proper that. Only one English class. That's kind of sad. So when I'm sitting here thinking about how I'm trying to save up money to go to college and butt fuck Washington, and I think, and all I can think about is why I have no money. I realize it's not all my fault. It is partially, yes. But it's not all my fault. It's everybody's. My teacher for not teaching me morals. My parents, because my mom for not being allowed to. The school board for not letting the teachers teach it to us. And the fucking excuse for a president for making all this shit up. Because there are people in this world that are suffering more now than ever because of him. This is not a fact. This is my opinion on the last eight years of observation and sideline views of watching our country, our men, our public, jump into a free fall because of choices you let him make. All because he said it would be for the better. But when he fucked up the first time and you elected him again, that's all on you. Because the moral of second chances can play, yes. But there is also a moral of protection. And when it comes to your nation, your people, and your rights, and you're just going to sit there and let him back in, it makes me wonder who is really responsible for America's fuck-up, Obama or you. And mind you, I'm not a supporter of Obama. But all this mantra is trying to do is create a better nation. But when somebody bites off more than they can chew, you're not supposed to refill the fucking plate, geniuses. All that you're supposed to do is let him go and say, you're not right for the job. You know, get a new one. Do what you have to do to support your nation. But when you fuck it up, 
You cannot sit there, turn around, and have a right to complain about it. I do not have the right to vote, so I do not complain. But I am allowed to my opinion. I am allowed to make my opinion when somebody is messing something up. You don't have to listen, no. But does that mean I'm not going to make it? No. I'll make it all I freaking want to. Because it's my opinion. It's my voice. It's my words. You cannot take my mouth and sew it shut to literally make me stop talking. You'd have to cut off my hand so I wouldn't be able to get to scissors and cut off my and cut off the strings. So I can open my mouth and talk. Because I'm going to fight for what I believe in. I'm going to fight for what I have the right to fight for. And I have a title to my opinion. That's what I'm gonna that's what I'm gonna stick to because it's my opinion. It's what I do. Thank you for listening.